Hey, this is uh, Pete Ospi with Carolina Barbell. I'm going to go over our rhino belt squat. I'm going to do a little how to set it up, how to use it, and then we're going to go over five exercises that you can use with this machine. So the first thing, if you want to come over here, is you're going to set it up for your height. The first thing you're going to do is going to put the belt on, clip into this carabiner. After you clip into that, you'll stand up and it takes the track off of the rhino. Hook, if you want to come close and get in on this. This is the safety bar right here that catches the uh, track. You'd pull that back and that would allow you to squat freely down and up. When you're done with your reps, you just push it forward and it catches on that. So if you want to adjust this rhino for a tall or short person, you would stand up with it with it empty. You can take this pin out, lower it, and then put the pin back in and then find the, whatever height works for you. Also, if you come around here on the back, not only can you plate load it, but you can use a band. It has two band pegs down here. So you'd wrap. Band around there, and then put it around that. And that would give you tension harder as you go up. And we have a bunch of different style bands that you'd be able to use. Uh, two belts that we have. One is the Spud Ink. Multiple adjustments, so the inner rings would be for shorter people, and the out rings would be for someone taller like myself. Then we also have this blue one, but it's not adjustable. All right, so the next videos are gonna be on exercises that you can perform on this. All right, so the first one is gonna be the trap bar deadlift with the belt squat. Um, I'm not gonna go how to program this into your workout. This is just one of the things you can do. So I'll demonstrate real quick. All right, the next video is going to be on marching with the belt squat. Uh, two, there's probably endless possibilities on marching, but one of the main ones is you don't have to remove the safety hook for this. You can leave it forward. The One of the main ones is literally just high stepping and marching in place. A uh, different variation would be these rubber pads that we have of stepping up onto them. Uh, another one is we have a bunch of different slam balls up to 90 pounds. And one would be holding onto a slam ball while marching. without in front of you, over your head. In case of the 91, you could be bear hugging it, but some sort of variation like that. So that is marching. We'll go on to the next one. All right. Next one is gonna be a box squat. We have our uh, plyo box here. Pull back the safety arm. Whatever stance you choose to do this in, I'm gonna do it in a sumo stance. Nice controlled. Descent, tap the box, up. Push the safeties forward, let it lock in. Uh, if you want to make yourself go below parallel, and these are, this is more for the gym members, you can go to a shorter, and then kind of micro increment with a pad if you're somewhere between 24 and 30. Just to get that per perfect depth. And that is box squatting. We'll move on to the next one. Another way to use the belt squat is gonna be for calf raises. You're just gonna step up. You don't have to pull the safety back. You can leave it forward. Use these 
handles. Get just the balls of your uh, feet on the platform. Sink down. Nice good stretch. Slowly come up. Try to cramp those calves. And I think they call these donkey calf raises. Pretty boring, but that's it. All right, last thing I'm gonna go over on this is uh, using a slam ball uh, in conjunction with the belt squat. So for our members, we always keep this plyo box right by our belt squat. Probably don't wanna use it for uh, box jumps, use the nice one, so this one just kinda here for a shelf. So put whatever slam ball you want on top of that plyo box. You're gonna stand up, you're gonna leave the safety arms forward, and you're gonna take the rhino mount off. And the only purpose of that is because if you pull the arms back and you uh, throw the slam ball down, it has a tendency to hit this front mount, so you just leave it forward. Grab your slam ball, and you're gonna come up, slam it down, and do as many reps or sets that you wanna get a workout in. So I'll just demonstrate a few of them. So those are the five uh, variations that you can use this belt squat besides just doing a regular squat on it. Um, if you like this video, share it. Uh, we'll probably be doing videos like this on a few of our unique items that we have here uh, just to help our members get familiar with the stuff because I'm not here all the time and Kirsten's not here all the time. Uh, yeah, so that wraps it up. Thanks for watching.